Hey everybody, it's Crazy Bean Carol. How you doing? Today we've got a very large package from thecubicle.com. So this package is very large, uh, and it's kind of not really fitting in frame, so let's just open it up. Alright, so let's just start pulling things out of the box. I got a bunch of sort of non-WCA puzzles, because uh, lately I've been getting just a lot of 3x3s and stuff like that, and I wanted to get some non-WCA puzzles, because I think they're really fun, and they're really fun to collect as well. So let's just get started. So here we go, this is the first puzzle. So this first puzzle is called the Chi 6 Spot Cube. Uh, I haven't seen that many people talk about this, uh, and I saw it on the Cubicles website, and I thought it looked pretty interesting, a little bit confusing. But here it is, just out of the box. So it says Pitcher on it, uh, David Pitcher, he was also on the box. Uh, this looks very similar to an ivory cube, but yeah, let's just do first turns. Okay, so this turns way better than I thought it would. Oh, obviously, obviously it doesn't turn better. Okay. <laughs> so this turns way better than I thought it would. Uh, it has a clicking mechanism. I didn't know it would have that. Basically, you just turn the corners along this sort of line and these circles follow. It seems like it has a sort of ball-ish mechanism. I'm gonna scramble it up right now and see if I can figure out how to solve it. Wow, I, it's kind of hard to scramble in itself <laughs> because you can't turn it on both axes. You can only turn it along here and along here and then on the back as well. Okay, so that was quite straightforward. Uh, just sort of use intuition. If you know how to solve an ivy cube, skew, all those things, you'll probably be able to figure this one out. Uh, yeah, I, I like this puzzle a lot. It's, it's nice and simple, uh, but it has a cool look to it just sitting on its own. And yeah, let's move on to the next puzzle. All right, so the next thing in the box is this. Um, don't really remember what this is. Hold on. So according to the receipt, this is the YJ Yuanfang 2x2. So... Uh, it's in rose gold, which I remember seeing on the cubicles website and thinking that that was cool because it's more of a collector's type thing and just a nice piece of decor. Whoa, okay. So this is obviously a 2x2, two two, but it's very warped and weirdly shaped. It kind of reminds me of the Windows logo shape. Is that right? I don't know. But yeah, it's just weird to hold. So obviously you'd have to solve this entire thing by shape and not by color. The turning is pretty decent, quite smooth. Um, but yeah, this is really interesting. I feel like it could have more than one solved state, but I guess it's when it's sort of symmetrical is when it's solved, because technically this could be solved, but yeah, this is cool. The plastic feels weird. There's also a silver option, I believe. Um, so if you're more into that color and not the rose gold, then you might want to go for that one, but I just thought the rose gold looked really cool and more unique. But yeah, this is super cool. Seems like a fun puzzle to play around with. Definitely good for the collection. I'm gonna scramble it up and just show you how it looks all scrambled. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, just scrambled. I'm not gonna do a solve on it now. Uh, I'd have to play around and sort of remember what all the pieces are and what they look like, but yeah, pretty cool puzzle, I like it. All right, so the next thing I'm pulling out of the box is this. Now this I'm not going to open right now. This is gonna be saved for a video sometime in the future, but I saw this on the cubicle and thought it was so funny that I got it. So this is uh, a brick three by three. It's it's Legos. It's just, they can't say Lego because it's a brand, but yeah. So I've always wanted a Lego cube, but I never got around to making one. Uh, it was sort of a thing when Red KB made the bandageable Lego cube. Um, but I saw this on the cubicle and thought, hey, why not get that? Also, something's sliding in the back and I don't know what that is, but stay tuned for a future video where I open this up and play around with it. The next thing in the box is this. It's the biggest thing. It's probably why the box is so big. It's a Yushin Panda. So uh, Yushin has a lot of sort of shape mods of two by twos, three by threes that are animals. There's like a tiger, I think, but everyone loves the Yushin Panda. So I just had to get one. I mean, the packaging itself is great. I feel like I shouldn't take it out of its packaging, but I obviously want to have my panda. Maybe I'll keep the packaging, but I mean, come on. Yeah, it's it's really funny. There's a sort of smaller version if you want to get that, but uh, I think the bigger version is just funnier. 
I'm gonna carefully open this up and take out the panda. I'm so incredibly excited for this. You guys can help me name the panda if you want. Because uh, obviously you have to name your panda puzzle. Okay, so trying to preserve the packaging. Ooh, this is cool. It's in its natural habitat. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to rip it because it's blister packaging, kind of, on the inside. No! Dude, why, why do they have to make this the most complicated package ever? I just wanted to preserve the bamboo environment thing, but instead they just, oh gosh. Okay. So yeah, here it is, the Yushin Panda. So it's big, nice and solid. Its mouth is open, it has a weird bulge in his mouth. I don't know why, and his mouth is crooked, but yeah, he feels great. Let's do, let's just do first turns. Pretty standard, uh, two by two feeling. I like it. Oh, it's kind of stained on the back. Uh, it's not like a piece of paper or anything. It's in the plastic, which is kind of disappointing. But yeah, here is the Yushin Panda. Everyone loves the Yushin Panda. The question is, does the Yushin Panda corner cut? Oh, he does, actually. A lot. That's really good corner cutting. <sighs> Why did I do this? But yeah, let me know in the comment section what I should name this panda. The last thing in the box is this. This is the YJ timer. It's a pretty new thing. Everyone's talking about it. Basically, the main idea of it is that you don't actually have to touch it to start and stop it. And it's just sort of convenient to carry around. In fact, I believe it's called the pocket timer because it's so small. Uh, you know the stack mat is sort of long and you have to put your hands in the right place and everything. This is supposed to be more convenient and everything. And it wasn't very expensive at all. But we've got a little instruction manual right here. I really hope this has batteries included. I hate when things don't include batteries. All right, it has a little strap too if you wanna sort of hang it on your pants or on your backpack or something. That's really cool, because a lot of keepers are children and they go to school and stuff. Wow, this is weird. No batteries, all right. So I'm not sure if I have batteries on me right now, but either way, I'm not gonna put them in in this video because I'm also planning on making a separate video about this. Uh, let me know, maybe I'll even put a little poll thing up here in the iCards to vote for which of these puzzles you want me to make videos on and whichever one gets the most votes I'll do first, I guess. So yeah, uh, it requires two batteries. And if you're wondering how exactly this timer is able to uh, start and stop without you touching it, it uses these sort of sensors. I believe they're infrared sensors on the side. So you just put your hands on the table and the sensors know that you're there and it will start and stop the timer. So there's two buttons here, they're good buttons. Yeah, this is super cool. I got it in the blue version, but there are some other colors, I believe. I'm excited to learn more about this because if I like it, it would make uh, going to competitions a lot easier because I bring a timer and this is way easier to bring around, obviously, because it's the pocket timer. So yeah, that is everything in this unboxing. Uh, I'm super excited to play around with all these. I can't decide which one I like the best so far. But yeah, I'm excited to use the pocket timer. I'm excited to just have my panda. Uh, play around with these two, make a video about this. So yeah, we got a lot of exciting stuff coming. Again, let me know what I should name my panda for one, but also what videos um, of these puzzles you want to see in the upcoming future. Another thing I didn't mention is the uh, package came with this pamphlet of a bunch of lubricants that you can get from the cubicle, which is new. I haven't seen this in any packages before, but this is good because it gives you info on a lot of lubricants. I feel like sometimes lubricants can be overwhelming, so it's good that the cubicle put this in the box for maybe beginners or just people who are confused in general by lubricants. But yeah, if you wanna buy any of these things, I will leave links down below to thecubicle.com. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Bean Carol. Bye.